But I decided to make a second video of uh, why I love my Microsoft Surface RT. If you haven't already watched the first one, I really recommend that uh, you go watch that first because there's lots of cool features that I point out. But assuming that you've already watched it, let's, uh, let's get started. So one of the things that I like to do on my Surface is listen to music and watch videos. And uh, I typically use Spotify or Google Music since that's where all my songs and playlists are stored. Um, and one of the amazing things that I discovered is that you can actually cast whatever you're watching or playing on your Surface to your Xbox and reportedly PlayStation, but I don't have a PlayStation, so I'm not able to test that out. So when you're listening to music, what you can actually do um, is swipe from the side, press devices, play, and I have an Xbox 360, so it automatically shows up in my list. So if I click on that, it'll actually start playing on the Xbox. There you go. That, that's really cool. So not only can you uh, just cast the music to the Xbox, but you can actually control it from the surface. So here, when I press pause, it pauses on the TV too. When I press play, or I can rewind, I can click next song, automatically the TV plays the next song. Xbox doesn't even support Google Music, but with their Surface, now it does. You know, so I was like, wow, well, that this feature was not even advertised in this app. I didn't even know I could do this with my Surface. I now have the ability to play my entire Google Music library, all the songs I have on there, on my Xbox now. So what else does this work with? Well, let's find out. So here is Pandora, okay? Uh, there's actually no Pandora app on the Surface. This is actually just the web app, like I showed in my previous video. Um, so I'm playing this on the Surface right now. Again, swipe over, devices, play, Xbox 360 shows up in the list. What happens? Absolutely amazing. It is playing on the Xbox right now. This is just a website. This isn't even a, a dedicated app. The Xbox does not have Pandora on it, but now it does because of my Surface. So one of the things that I like watching on my Surface is Amazon Prime Instant Video or, or just any Amazon uh, video in general rented or purchased. So this here is Star Trek. Um, you know, it's awesome to be able to watch this on your Surface, um, but I was like, well, is this something that I can cast to my TV also? Well, let's try. Play, Xbox shows up in the list, let's see what happens. So, media from Internet Explorer, look at that. Instantly. It's now on my TV. Okay, what about YouTube? Does it work with YouTube? It absolutely does. You know, so I could watch, so this is, you know, they've got many YouTube apps. This is one that I like. You know, so you can actually go on here. You know, so can this, uh, can this be on the TV? All right, so let's see. Again, devices, play, Xbox 360, and it will communicate with the Xbox 360 uh, almost instantly. Look at that. Right there, uh, casting straight from my surface. This is amazing. Okay, so I can also control it from here. I can, uh, I can uh, seek. Okay, and uh, I can also pause. All right. So, so this is amazing. What this basically means is that uh, almost anything that I can I watch on my surface, whether it's from an app such as Google Music or. Uh, YouTube or whether it's from a website like Pandora or Amazon video instant video I can just cast my TV this in my opinion. This is like the ultimate smart TV Experience that's pretty cool Okay, so what I'm about to show you next will likely blow your mind So as I showed in the previous video, I've got a, my, my little mouse attached here Okay, I'm gonna click on the desktop Now what what is this? What are you seeing? Is that Google Earth? You know, is is this Firefox? Is this Google Chrome? Now, now keep in mind, this is the Surface RT, okay? This is not uh, the Surface Pro. This is Windows RT. 
how can I be running these desktop applications? You know, how is this even possible? I can already hear some of you guys on YouTube watching right now. You guys are, are screaming, you know. Okay, so now before you get too excited about this, uh, I have three words. Remote desktop connection. This is actually great. Downstairs, I have a Core i7 Intel processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM. I can run SolidWorks, I can run MATLAB, I can run all the legacy software at a, a super fast speed, and, and it's very responsive. I don't, I barely experience any lag whatsoever. Um, audio and video comes through. I'm playing Spotify right now. Connecting to the remote desktop really gives you a, a taste of the future, really. I mean, we live in 2013. You know, we're going to be in an era where most of our computational power, most of our computing is going to be done over the cloud. I'm connected to my uh, powerful uh, desktop computer downstairs. You know, I have 24-7 access to it, um, not only on my home Wi-Fi network, but on the go and anywhere. Uh, I've got a phone with wireless tethering. I can securely access my desktop, uh, f you know, over the internet from anywhere. So really, uh, this the Surface becomes a zero compromise device. I can still have a sleek body, great hardware, excellent battery life, and I have all the processing power I need, all the legacy software I could ever want. Um, you know, I don't connect to my desktop too often. But, you know, when I need to do SolidWorks or when I need to do something that, re that requires uh, legacy software, it's, it's literally like five seconds I connect to the desktop and it's so smooth. There's, there's zero lag, you know, and it just, it just works, you know. So it really little to no compromise at all. So there you have it. That's, that's really what I wanted to summarize. Just a short follow-on video to my first video that to me just kind of took this the rest of the way and you know these two videos are the reason why I love my Surface RT I think once you have a taste of it and once you realize that it's really not a device with any compromise if you set it up right um, then I don't know there's just no going back it's it's perfect I, I couldn't ask for anything more